guys, Robert Three Strong. Today, I want to answer a question that's really common. What weight do I use? How much weight do I use? And there really isn't one particular weight that you need to use, and then you got to add five pounds to that, and add you know a little bit more to that. Depending on what your goals are, that is what's going to dictate how much weight you need to use. And that weight is going to limit you to a certain number of reps. If we are trying to develop strength, we need to keep the weight at a certain level that allows us to perform a certain number of reps. And that ideal weight, or sorry, the ideal number of reps is about three to five. And granted, there's a variance of, you know, a rep or two or three. If we want to develop mass, which is going to require a slightly lighter weight than in the strength training, but it'll allow us to do eight to 12 reps or so. And so we want to pick a weight that will let us do that. When we want to work on our endurance and maybe do uh, some of those circuits, um, we need something that is going to be a little bit lighter and allow us to do more work and more reps, and that will be our lightest weight. If you notice that I have three different sets of dumbbells here. I have 60 pounders, 40 pounders, and 20 pounders. Each of these weights, I can do an overhead press. Sorry, I am blown out right here. Okay, I can do an overhead press. And that overhead press, really, the muscles involved is not gonna change, the range of motion is not gonna change because it's me lifting the weights, doing one movement. But, these three different weights are going to have a different response. My body is going to adapt differently to each of these weights. So, in answering the question, how much weight should I lift, it's dependent on what your rep ranges are and what your goal is. Okay, so if I want a little bit more endurance, and I'm actually going to show you, I'll, I'm going to lift the weights and I'll show you what it what it looks like and kind of describe um, you know, what's, what's going on. With each one of these lifts, what I'm trying to do is move as, as quickly as possible with as solid of technique as I can. What that does is once I move quickly, if I can move the weight fast and I'm going um, all out on each of those reps, that when I slow down, I'm starting to get tired. One of the things as a, as a trainer that throws me off, because I, I can't feel what my clients are going through, I tell them once they have locked them in to, to drive that weight up as quickly as possible, because the little trick that I use is if they slow down, I know that the weight is, is challenging them. But if you intentionally go slow, it's, it's hard to get that feedback, okay? So try to move as quickly as possible when you lift. So for me, these 20 pounders in the overhead press, I can punch it up. There's really not too much resistance, but I'm sure if I do 20, 30 reps, that is going to start to challenge me and that will develop my endurance as I move up in weight. So this is a 100% jump. I've just doubled the weight up to 40 pounds. So what would train my endurance might now cause a different adaptation. Again, okay, a little bit slower. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I got ten reps out of that one. I probably could have done a couple more, but that's totally fine. I'm going to leave a couple of reps in the tank. Because remember, you're going to do multiple sets. So for me, if I can do about 10 to 12 of those, that'll be a great set for mass building. That'll be a good rep range. So I've just doubled. But now, I don't want to double and go to the 80s. I don't even know if I can lift those overhead. I'm going to try the 60s. And so now, this 60 pound, these 60 pound dumbbells, holy crap, are going to be one. I'm a little tired. Two. Okay. Whew. Sorry. This is actually.
actually, I have to admit, this is like the third take. But anyway, no excuses. Um, so, I probably would have gone 50s or 55s or whatever. But at least this gives you a general idea of go, test out the weights. Let's figure it out. But if you're sitting there, banging the weights out and going, well, no, eight reps is what I need to do. The only reason why there are these rep ranges is that you want to pick a weight that will allow you, not that you have to do that number of reps, and, and regardless of whatever weight that, that you pick, if you pick those reps, then it's going to get the change that you want. No, that's not the case. The weight will cause the change. The weight will limit you. So whatever goal you want, strength, hypertrophy, or endurance, you need to pick a weight that is going to leave you within those rep ranges. Okay, guys? Oh, man. I hope you guys work out as much as I do in these videos here because I don't want to feel alone. See you guys tomorrow.